are we calling it? Old Wives Tales gender predictor video? Stupid ideas about how to decide the gender of your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I have a long list. I have 40, 42 different things. 42 dumb ideas about how to guess the gender of your baby. <laughs> I guess we should give it a shot. Why okay. Not? Okay, so the first one says carrying low or carrying high. What do you think? Swing low. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty low right now. It's but, low. But the truth is, it's baby's already dropped. That's how it is when they're at the end. But it's kind of, what do you think, been low the whole time? <clears throat> sure. Uh, the heartbeat? It says below 140 is a boy, above is a girl. It's always been at about 150. So a girl. Um, craving sweet things, a girl. What do you think? You always crave sweet things. I feel like I'm just craving food. Girl? Yeah, probably girl. Girl. Sugar and spice. Number four is the Chinese birth chart. That's a, a kind of an interesting indicator. I'm going to look it up real quick and see what it says. You entered your date of birth. 1942. And then you entered the date of conception. Which I don't really know exactly what that would be. It's just a guess anyway. So I think like the beginning of April. Well, there you have it. That one says girl. It's a girl. That one says girl. All right, number five says mix pea with Drano. And if it's green, it's a girl. And if it's blue, it's a boy. Sounds like how to murder your partner. <laughs> mix pea with Drano. Kill them as they drink your pee. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds terrible. I think I'm gonna skip that one. See, I can't do this one either because I already know the answer. Um, place a key in front of your pregnant belly. If you pick up the narrow part, it's a girl. If you pick up the fat part, it's a boy. All right then. I think I would probably pick up the fat part no matter what. Okay. Because that's the handle, right? Hopefully. I guess we could say boy. Okay. Strange. How did that one come about? Locksmith boredom. Breakouts. If you have them, it's a girl. If you have clear skin, it's a boy. Have you escaped a prison recently? <laughs> Not a lot of breakouts for me. I mean, like with any of the babies. A boy. Right? Oh boy. A wedding ring in front of the belly swings in a circle, it's a boy. Back and forth, it's a girl. What if there's no wedding ring? Is it a puppy? Hellraiser. Oh boy, could be the one, I don't know. It's not Ron. It's not Ron. It's not Ron. <laughs> it's, it's not Ron. Your first trimester morning sickness. Was I sick in the first trimester? Like mentally or physically? Don't answer that. <laughs> no sickness, no. really, very little. So I guess that would make it a boy. Boy. Partner weight gain. Have you gained weight? I've lost weight. Oh, so in that case... Twins. Weight gain equals a girl, no weight gain equals a boy. What about weight loss? It doesn't, it doesn't say that. It, maybe that's also a puppy. Hmm. If you're a klutz, or are you graceful? Which you're, was I? You're always a klutz. Always a klutz. So, that's a boy. Always boys. Is your hair thick and glossy, or is it dull and limp? What do you think? Boy, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I mean, how do you know if it's a boy or girl? You have to answer the question first. Dull and limp or thick and hairy? No. Or, no, thick and glossy. Dull and thick. Dull, dull and thick is not one of the <laughs> options. Dull and lumpy. Dull and lumpy. <laughs> it's <laughs> dull and limp. So, dull and limp is a girl. Okay, girl. They say that a girl steals your beauty. Oh. That's why. <laughs> it's logical, isn't it? The Mayan prediction, it's the year of conception and the mother's age at conception. Whether they're both even or odd, or only one of the numbers is even or odd. It would be one even and one odd. Right? Yes. Okay, the Mayans think we're having a boy. Mayans. Your boobs. Is your left one bigger or your right one bigger? I'll let you answer this one. I don't know the answer to that question. You don't know which is which? They've been eating too much lately, not by me, I don't know. <laughs> I think the right so, is bigger. Does that count if they've always been that way? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's definitely the left one that's bigger. Left. So in that case, bigger left boob. 
Boy. Boy. Left side or right side? Do I sleep on my left side or right side? Which one? It's been both, but that's kind of a choice, so. I'm asleep too, I don't know. I, I would say mostly left, but also the right side. Left is boy. Boy again. Boy again. Oh boy. Everyone's saying it's a boy. Boy. For the most part, everyone thinks it's a boy. Hmm. Linea negra, I think is how you pronounce it. It's the line that some women get on the belly that goes, like a dark line that goes down your stomach. So if the line goes above the belly, then it's a boy. If it stays below the belly, it's a girl. But I don't have a line, so that doesn't work for us. No line dancing. Weight gain, if it's in the front or on the sides. What would you say? It's been wide this time. It almost looks like front to me, so I'm confused. It is front, but it's also wider this time, and I've had several people say that I look wide. Okay. So wide is, I think, girl. Let's see. Yeah, wide on the sides is a girl. Wide girl. So check for girl. Do you have cold feet or do you have warm feet? It's normal feet? Normal feet. Maybe, maybe I've been on the warmer side mostly, but it's been my whole body, not just my feet, so. So warm feet is a girl. Warm feet. Foot growth. Like an extra one? <laughs> well, they say your foot can grow like a half an inch, up to half an inch when you're pregnant. And the interesting thing is it doesn't go back, they say. It actually stays. She has been wearing clown shoes. I, I don't know. I think maybe a little bit. Foot growth. But not very much. Foot, foot growth is a boy. No foot growth is a girl. Okay. So maybe we're having a boy. It sounds maybe like there's a, a lot of boys here stacking up. But. Maybe a boy. Headaches? If you have headaches? Or no headaches? I've been having headaches. I would say it's a boy. Boys are headaches. Yes. Darkening areolas is a boy. If they say the same color, it's a girl. They're mostly used for feeding these days. I don't know what anymore. I think they they're darker? the same, but maybe a little darker. Maybe. They're definitely bigger. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a girl? Brighter yellow pee than normal. I'm not there for that. It's important to note that also vitamins can affect the color of your urine. Yeah. But brighter pee is supposed to indicate a boy. So I guess click one for boy. Boy. And lots and lots and lots of pills. <sighs> Nail growth. Yes. Also affected by prenatal pills. Nail growth is a boy. Another for boy. God, this is a lot of ones for boy. I didn't it's realize they stack up this way. It's a lot. Oh, this is a lovely one. This has definitely got to be an indicator. Pillow faces north or pillow faces south? I guess it faces south. Or... Faces south? I guess so. It's flat, so it's weird. It's like which, saying which way does the flounder face. So if it's south, it's a girl. I think so. So, girl. Heartburn indicates a full head of hair or a girl. And I've been having lots and lots of heartburn. So vote for girl? Yeah, yeah. With Michelle, I had tons of heartburn all the way through the whole pregnancy. And this has not been the whole pregnancy. It's just been the last few months. So, whatever. These are so, such great indicators, aren't they? Yeah. But click for girl. Do you smell like garlic when you eat a lot of it? Do I smell like garlic? We haven't been eating garlic. I know, it's kind of a weird one, isn't it? I can't answer that question. So maybe we won't click for this one, but mm -hmm. it's supposed to be a girl if you smell like garlic when you eat a lot of garlic. I don't yeah. know what that's about. We haven't eaten any. So have I been moodier than usual or chill? I wouldn't say moodier than usual. <laughs> Maybe moodier than usual. Then I think that's a girl. Girl. I'm going with girl on this one. Dilating pupils. Like when? Like in a dark room? It doesn't specify. That's confusing. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't answer that question. Well you have to. No. Okay, then it's a girl. No, I wasn't answering. <laughs> okay, girl. We'll go with girl. I don't know. We can go neutral on this one again. Neutral. This one is impossible. I'm just gonna tell you what it is because I'm not gonna do it. Chop red cabbage and pour boiling water over it. Let it sit 10 minutes and strain the cabbage water into a bowl. Then combine it with equal parts of urine and water. And if it's reddish pink, 
It's a boy, and if it's Violet, it's a girl. We're not doing that one. I'm not doing that one. I don't want to pee in the cabbage. It already smells like pee anyway. Have my legs been enlarging, or have they stayed the same size? I, I don't know, I think the same size. Oh no, that would be, that would be a wrong answer. They're enlarging apparently. 120% leg. I think they've definitely gotten a little bit bigger. Enlarged. But that might be the cravings for sweet. Enlarged equals a boy. Boy, so what, fill it for boy. 31 is very odd. Do I want to eat the ends of bread? Or the middle? The heels? I guess, I don't see any reason why not. I'm not opposed to it, I guess it depends on the type of bread. It's a strange indicator, isn't it? Very. What culture do you think this one's from? Jewish. Uh, well, if you eat the ends, it's a boy. All right then. Oh, this one's, this one's lovely. Number 32, has my beauty disappeared or stayed the same? Stayed the same? Then it's a boy, because the girls are supposed to rob you of your beauty. Boy! Boy. Oh boy. Whichever gender you dream about having, you will have the opposite. What are you dreaming? Rhinoceros. I have, I thought at first it was a girl, and now I feel a little bit like it's a boy. Haven't dreamed about it or at no, all. Or no, vice versa. Is Dream, that what I thought? Dreamed about my cat with a sword through his chest. Oh, that's disturbing. No genders. Just a sword. You really haven't dreamed at all about the baby being a gender? None. Not once. Not even a single dream about the baby of any kind. Not whether it's coming, or it's here, or it's impending doom. None of it. Dream nothing about the baby. I think you're going to have a big adjustment period. Hmm. Nothing. If a toddler boy shows interest in your pregnant belly, then it's a girl. If not, it's a boy. But I haven't had a toddler boy around to even check the results of this test. No, so I none. can't say. It's a weird one. Very. Ask mom to show her hands if palms down boy. Show your hands! I already heard the answer. Oh. Palms down, I elephant, don't... palms up, dolphin. <laughs> I don't know. This is a dolphin weird one baby. Also. She's having a dolphin baby. It says dolphin. Oh, this is good. 36. This is a fantastic indicator. What does mom think? 71% of the time, mom is right. Mom doesn't know what to think. Maybe a girl. I think maybe a girl. But it's not a very strong feeling. Have I been craving protein? I guess, kind of. I like the turkey lurkey. That makes it a boy. Boy, another vote for boy. Another vote for boy. It does kind of seem like we're having a boy, doesn't it's it? It's a few votes more than for girl. <laughs> Are for... my hands dry? Are my hands dry? <laughs> they feel pretty dry. <laughs> Alright, well that's a vote for boy. I guess. Dry hands equals a boy. I mean, they're not wet. I don't know why, but it does. Dry. Dry hands equals a boy. Dry. Is your nose getting bigger? Is my nose getting bigger? I don't think so. You don't think so? Is it? You decide. <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't think so. You don't look like a clown yet. So well, then good. it's a girl. If my nose is not getting girl, bigger. Girl, vote for girl. Yeah. Next. What's the next on the list of wonderful thoughts from dumb people? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is my face getting fuller? No. It's the same? I think so. Then I think it's a boy. A boy. Another vote for boy. Looks like we're having a boy. Eat some Cheetos. Have a girl. <laughs> oh, this one's really strange. This is number 41. We're almost done. This one's bizarre. Does a V or branches appear when you pull down the skin under your left eye? I guess a V? It's a girl. Girl! A vote for girl! What a bizarre V indicator. under the eyeball. Where do they come up with these? Crack cocaine addicts sat in a room. Does someone just make them up so they feel like they know what they're talking about? Yes. Or is there... I feel like they have to come from somewhere. No. Okay, 42 is if your first child's first word was mama, then it's a girl. And if the first, the child's, first child's first word was dada, it's a boy. We're having a cat. We're having a cat. Because her first word was... Ginga, Ginga, which is Ginger, our cat. Yes. <laughs> I think that's all of them. All right, there you have it. I have no idea what the tally is, but after we go to edit these, we'll have to 
calculate them. It sounds like a lot more for boy. It sounds like it's a lot more for boy. So stay tuned and find out soon. what it actually is. Very soon. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos, including a birth video and what else are we gonna do? All kinds of fun stuff. You'll see. Bye bye. Bye.